what the f- do you, they need to say that she's going to keep on throwing until she can't throw? How many kids you going to have? What the fuck is wrong with you? You whore dog slut. <laughs> are a core of our society worldwide, primarily due to their role. However, with their population, there are some that are pretty unique and rare. From the 12-year-old mom to the mom with nine kids, here are 20 unusual and unique moms you won't believe exist. <laughs> Daria Sudnishnikova. Wait, the idea she? of having kids can be pretty cute. Especially when witnessing it from the outside. It's all fun when all you have to do is make cute videos and wish the couple a safe delivery. However, this isn't the case for everyone, as some people are saddled with the sadness that comes with conception. For some, it's embarrassing, and this is where Daria Sunishnikova falls into, as she's just 14. Daria had gotten Damn. pregnant, and lots of eyebrows had been. She 14? You you know this? When when you get pregnant at that uh at that age, it's like you think you, you, the baby is yours. Yes, you got birth to the baby. Yes, you got birth to the baby. Everything, but nine out of ten, the baby is still not yours because you are fourteen. You got no job, no car, and you got nowhere to take care of the baby. So your parents the more you taking care of the baby. Raised because she was still a kid, it got weird when she claimed the child's father was her boyfriend. Now you're wondering why that's weird, yeah? Yeah. That's because her boyfriend, Ivan, is only 10 years old. So how's that possible? What? What the fuck? Wait before they can get someone pregnant and 10 isn't the age. So what's going on? After age. she gave birth, the police carried out a DNA test and discovered that Ivan wasn't the father. Instead, it was a teenager who had raped her. We guess she was ashamed of the stigma and decided to come up with the story. Oh, Children no. are truly a no, blessing. No, 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 However, no, no. it's much better when they're actually kids than when they're parents. This is because they still have a whole lot of development to undergo and they shouldn't even be having kids. But then when they do, we can only feel bad for them and try to be as supportive as possible. So when this image surfaced on the internet, we couldn't even understand why we had to go through all of that. These kids look like they're barely in their teens and for them to have a kid seems quite harsh. Then of course we have to yeah. ask ourselves, could this be real? Where are they? Uh, then you can't even tell if they're real or not. And then if it was real, like, like you don't really know. And you don't know how to cooperate that? Are their parents? Also, is it legal for them to have kids at that age? Yes. So, what do you should. think? Kindly, Kindly share, share your, your thoughts, thoughts in the, in the comment, comment section, section below, below using, using hashtag. hashtag yeah. Share your thoughts and comment below and tell me: Is it illegal to have a kid at that young? Big, big. Jalen Crawford and Janelle and, and Leopoldo. Leopoldo. Twins are a rare occurrence, and this is because they most times share similar physical features that just make them stand out. So when you see a twin, you'd mostly see them dressed up in the same way, having the same face and features. However, that's not where it ends, time, uh -huh. and decided to have a kid at the same time. That, that ain't bad. On the same day in okay. June 2018, they just went to a hospital in Arizona and said, hey, we're ready to have our kids. This is weird because what could have prompted that whole idea? Were they trying to win again after doing that for most of their lives? At least they couldn't keep up with the charade because they got married to different people. And one has three kids while the other has just one. But they probably planned the whole thing because they might have wanted to have kids on the same day since they were younger. And the chances of this happening with a C-section are low. But then getting pregnant for a... For one, this is not bad. Like, if I had twin. I want my, my, have my, have my twin brother get a girl pregnant and have a, a kid at the same time, me. Uh, only if we did different girls, I want my, have, have my kid at the same time as my twin brother. I'm not bad. Days apart seems suspicious. Talking about wild decisions, this woman just wanted one more kid 
and she got more than she bargained for, Amy Kempel. Most would tell you they would like one to three kids, and then they're done. If you think about it, you'd understand, because the economy is quite terrible, with the cost of living being at all-time highs. However, the Kempel family probably just wanted to do the classic three-kid family when the unexpected happened. They got pregnant and gave birth to quintuplets, and that must have been the most scary moment wait, for- Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, Stop it. Get some help. How many times you put it in her? How many times you just say, okay, I'm not going to protect myself. Okay, we're going to keep on fucking every single time until, until I can't more. Oh, wow. Wow. Chad, the husband. We can all agree that raising three kids is crazy, even if they're planned. Now imagine having to readjust your life to fit for seven. Um, Do you have to get a better having, house? Me, Do you see it? Having, having one, two, having one to three kids isn't bad. Having four kids isn't bad even. Five, not bad too. But having seven? Oh, now, now that's, that's a bargain of peace. Repurpose your old home to fit everyone. And now you have to get a space bus or something. They probably already knew a couple of months before then, but this is still wild and it seems the family is quite happy about the whole thing. Chad decided to do something daring by running a marathon with the quintuplets and by doing so, setting a world record. It seems fun on paper, but one can imagine what's happening behind closed doors at the Kimples. Gina, Nina, and Victoria. Mm -hmm. If you feel you've had enough of seeing twins dressed the same way down to even things like socks, then you should know that there are other sets of kids with weirder vibes. And these triplets rank high on that table as they even took it a notch higher when they all got pregnant around the same time. Now, do you even know how wild that is? Did they convince their parents to play along? Because the chance of conception at the same time is almost impossible. The sisters had their kids in chronological order from July, August, and November. Quick question, what would have happened if one didn't get pregnant? Okay, we leave that aspect for you to fill in because in an interview, these guys claim they couldn't go without wearing matching outfits. In fact, they even had matching maternity fits and all that just seemed like something you'd pull out from a Disney flick. Julie Loving, mothers are one of the best gifts any child can get because they can be quite selfless when they are good. These guys can literally jump in front of a moving train to save their kid but wouldn't help their husband bring the cold beer while he's watching his team playing. Anyway, one person who was lucky enough to have that type of mother is Brianna Lockwood, who got a special gift from her mom. Apparently, Brianna had been suffering multiple miscarriages and failed IVF procedures, so her superhero came to save the day. Her mom, Julie Loving, decided to give her the best gift ever by helping her carry her child as a surrogate. This is beautiful because she gave birth Certainly, I don't know, but that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like, like, I'll, I'll see it, but it's not bad. It's not bad. ...to her daughter and also helped carry her granddaughter to term. Her daughter and her family would not easily forget this gesture, as carrying a pregnancy at 51 is a hard job. Is. Not most people can do it, and to uh, even just willingly violence people. weedest thing especially since she was almost at menopause and the chances of her getting to term must have been low. She still rocked. Now that's a miracle baby that has a story to tell. If only the next woman were looking at knew she would be giving birth to quintuplets, then she might have changed her mind. Megan Hoolan. Sometimes the things we long for can lead us to more trouble. It's just like when you try to get honey from a comb because you're trying to save money. Then you get stung. At the end of the day, the enjoyment you derive from the honey might not be worth the money you would spend trying to fix it. This is exactly what happened with Megan Hullen, except that she didn't get the bees pissed. Instead, she messed with Mother Nature. Apparently, right. Megan had two boys, and she bothered her husband about wanting a girl. Guess she got unlucky and lucky at the same time, because instead of getting pregnant and having a girl, she was about to have a rude awakening. Mother Nature decided to give her a shocker no, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me. She better have five kids back to back. You're telling me you better have twins? 
But instead of having three twins or two twins, twins, you probably have five twins. Oh my and she got God pregnant Lord. with a quintuplet and it rocked her world. Wow. After delivery, the actual trouble started as she had to deal with feeding five kids. We wonder if the husband is usually laughing with his guys when he tells the story because now she's got her work cut out for her. Especially if you remember she has two others. And especially it's hard for you two because you're going to have to take care of two then she got to take care of three and like and, and what about work? Like and, and like when you go work, she got to be here taking care of all five of them and then on the weekdays you got to do it. Bro, I know both of y'all are having it a row. Well, maybe she's be content with not, whatever not she's got next time. Talk? The wow. whole thing would also affect them financially because planning for seven kids is a whole lot to be thrown into just because you wanted another. Like, like the vacation and stuff, bro, that would be hard too. And then, and then the birthday, bro. And then, the school, and then, y'all, then, like, y'all gotta buy, like, trucks to fit all five of them in, the, like, bro. I know every day is a struggle for y'all. Y'all wake up struggling. It's like every day y'all struggling. Rose Siggins. It takes a lot to be a woman and much more to be a mother because they're burdened with the task of raising kids with their partners. However, when one has been limited to certain circumstances, the chances of them being able to play out the motherly role can be tough. Rose Siggins wasn't going to let her condition stop her from being with the love of her life and giving birth to beautiful kids. She was born with a rare condition known as sacroagenesis. It affects the spine and limits her from being able to make use of her legs. They had to amputate her from the hip down at the age of two. For one, they could, they could put, um, give her like um, those um, prosthetic legs for her to like actually um, um, use it and then she could like walk for actual for real. So I don't know why she ain't like go and get the prosthetic legs. After using prosthetic legs into her teenage years, she oh, just she kind of decided she was not going to anymore. She decided that she would get good at using a skateboard, especially. Why? Why? Like, like you making that hard on yourself and making it easier. If, if I lost my legs at the age of two. I'll make my life more easier and do prosthetic legs. Like, come on, you're making it harder on yourself than easier. Especially when moving around. Can you imagine how tough that must have been? Then the most challenging part was deciding to have kids, as no one with that condition has been able to. Now, yeah, she I seems more said, like a superhero. I know it's been Becky Hunt. I, I Moms come in all shapes, sizes, Not and even age, personalities. Most times, condition. we don't even get to choose them. However, this doesn't mean they aren't capable of loving their kids apart from the deadbeat mothers. So, who's to say one is a deadbeat? The government? Other mothers? As long as the mother is doing her duty and playing her role, no one has the right to criticize them for their choices. Uh -huh. This is the battle that Becky Holt is fighting as she's trying to change the mentality of people who think there's a stereotype of how a mom should look. She's doing this because she's a mom. Oh, she won't look that bad. Like... Oh, like me say, what do y'all see in her? Yeah, because she got a bunch of tattoos, and y'all think she in the game or something? She, she actually beautiful. Like, so what? What the point? Point of y'all talking bad about her? She actually look beautiful. Like, for me, I don't mind. I'll go 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 for a girl like that. I'm not going to stereotype her and nothing like that. Who was ninety five percent covered in tattoos? which has made many moms out there snicker and look at her condescendingly. This is not stopping her, as she believes that she's playing her role and her personal choices shouldn't stop her from being a good mother. And for the haters, she claims that she's not stopping anytime soon. So if you feel like she's not good enough, you should inform the government. Although there are concerns about how her skin would look when she's older, she feels she wouldn't affect her daughter's love for her. Olivia, during the time of MTV, they had a show about teen moms, which showed us what it felt like to be them. Most of these guys go through some of the most challenging times while pregnant, especially when they're not all accepted by their family and loved ones. This can shape their mentality in life, 
an impact on how they raise their kids. However, it's all different for Olivia, an 18-year-old cheerleader who got pregnant during the pandemic. For her, she didn't get the ridicule that came with being a mom at school, but then of course her classmates knew about her story. It seems all that does not phase her, but her biggest challenge came from schooling, as she had a tough time dealing with academics since it was online. Oh, the truth is that everyone had a hard time adjusting to the changes of COVID-19, but we didn't really get used to it. Instead, we adjusted. That's the same thing Olivia and her football boyfriend did. Do you think the baby in the next clip adjusted? Because it seems the mom was putting it through a tough time of physical fitness. Kaja Harjan. What's your excuse for not taking your fitness health seriously by going... Is it right to um, like train and everything? Well, I'm talking not for a guy, for a girl, right? Like for y'all girls, right? Is it right for y'all to like work out and everything, right? While y'all pregnant? Okay, for me, me, my understanding is I I thought girls should pull, like eat healthy and everything, and and not like physically work out like. Like do a, 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 a small amount of working out, like some yoga and stuff like that. Not physically work out. You, I think I only um, be seeing the mother do that after the baby is born, not not when the baby develops and coming to the gym or taking a run. And don't say because you get tired easily. We can say this because there are people that you're stronger than who are hitting the gym and actually pulling weights. Oh yes. And one person doing that is Katja Harjan, a pregnant woman who hit the gyms regularly. Before you say she's early in her pregnancy, then you should know that she's quite heavy. In a picture that surfaced on the internet, she was actually eight months in and could be seen lifting a weight of about 100 kilograms. How wild is that? There are many people who can't even bench press 50 kilograms, and this woman does. Well, it seems she didn't just end up to decide to do this. She'd been hitting the gym for about three years before getting pregnant. Of course, she's also got a doctor's approval that she can do this without harming her baby. With a body that most people would envy, she was able to keep up with her oh. fitness training, and we're sure so, that her child so would be proud like to have that? such a strong oh, mother. Well, Thou gender coward. The human body gets to a point when it starts to age, and the possibilities it can achieve during reduce drastically. In the case of women, their reproductive ability soon begins to deplete and they start having a hard time conceiving. This is what's called menopause, and it mostly comes at the age of 50 and above. When Dallinger Culler decided she wanted to have a kid at 70, many- Ho, 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 up, ho, up. Why in the world do you wait until you, until you got to like your grandma age to say, oh, let me have a kid? You could have been had this so long with this man. Why do you wait until you get to your grandma to a grandma age to say, oh, let me have a kid? Right? That's a stupid thing to ever do. For me, I'll try to have a kid before I turn 50. I'm not waiting until I turn 50, 50 or older and say, oh, oh, me and my girlfriend will have a kid. No. Any questions were asked, especially you're, since you're, it would be her first child. Now, how was she supposed to do this after hitting menopause? The best choice I, uh, is yeah. IVF, she which fertilizes hit the, uh, the egg uh, and enables conception. You hit, she was able to order? carry a term and yeah, gave birth to a daughter, uh, a girl which seemed like, like the best uh, thing had happened to her. But not everyone was proud of what she'd accomplished, as some felt she took a huge risk by trying to have a child at that age. Some felt that she was too old to even want kids as she wouldn't be able to take care of the kids due to old age. Anyways, that's not our place to judge, as we're happy that the woman is happy, and yeah, science has also cool, improved in making you, people's you lives you better. Long, Chloe like, Dunstan, like, bro, the joy you know, of motherhood, you know, you or isn't that what they call it? Is it something that's like, beautiful, and most you, women aspire like, to have that feeling? However, is there a filter to when this joy is too little or too much? You know, when someone is going over and just wanting to enjoy it too much. If there is, then Chloe Dunstan would be on that list especially since she actually planned the whole thing. For Chloe, it seems she enjoys the whole idea of motherhood and wants to keep on going till she can't anymore. Currently, she's on her eighth child, and she's expecting the ninth child. How, 
what the f- do you they need to say that she gonna keep on going until she can't bro how many can you gonna have what the fuck is wrong with you you whore dog slut which would make her too shy of a soccer team it seems that she finds joy in the whole thing and her <laughs> horde of youtube followers seems to applaud I'm, I'm her home. endeavor Forget if you that. go on the page home. it's so colorful mm. as she posts her family's day-to-day -day life you. but don't think it. that's a lot of it of course it looks like it's all fun but then that isn't even a half of it what? it's probably a tough one on school days and most people would not want that kind of life anyways we can all say her family is cute but at least we don't get to live with Bro, them. Eight Christine kids? Casey. I'm not, I'm not Still, doing that. on the joy of motherhood, we have to understand that as some have quite a number of kids, there are others who are hoping to get just one. This can be a sad endeavor for expecting couples, as they most times have to go for medical procedures to help with the whole conception process. It can be draining when it fails, mm -hmm. especially since they now have to go for a surrogate. Oh, yeah, and that costs a lot. People who can afford it might just now searching searching costs a lot, right? That's why you be seeing um people trying to have a kid instead of going for the surgeon. Good, good. Nine ten going for a surgeon. Mm -mm. So like that why a lot of people don't even want after um um want their family member to be a surgeon. That would be good. That would be money. money be lucky to hold their kid in about nine months. This is the story of Sarah Cano and her husband, who sought out the help of her mother to help them carry their child. Christine Casey was up for it at the age of 61 as she decided to carry her grandchild. In fact, this feat is so monumental because she kind of made a record as the oldest woman to have a child in Arizona and even did it as a surrogate. The whole thing must have been fulfilling for her, especially as she could help her daughter and husband become parents. Jessica Bruce Speaking of records, uh -huh. we have to remember Remember that it takes a lot of resolve to make that happen, especially since they're competing against people worldwide and those from other periods. So when Jessica Bruce decided to go out there and set her record, most people would have thought she was fooling. This is if we consider the fact that she did it with her kid while taking on one of the toughest physical activities out there, running. She decided to compete at the Ambingdon Marathon, where she pushed her baby on a push chair. Now, how wild is that? Most people can't even run a marathon, right. but then this yeah. mother blitzed through it. Here's the record part. She was able to complete the race and one loading screen later. Good still. It was a time when most people couldn't cope and they just had to learn to find other ways to stimulate themselves. However, it was also a sad time for most people as they lost loved ones while others also contracted the deadly virus at the Townsends. The story was also a sad one as one of them, Kelsey Townsend, contracted the virus and soon was placed into a medically induced coma. Oh, and we forget to mention that she was pregnant at that stage and it could have been ready for both mother and child. Apparently she gave birth while in a coma and wasn't there to hold her baby. But this woman was a fighter and wasn't going to let that go easily. Three months after the delivery, she was cleared and discharged from the hospital and was finally able to be with her family to hold her newborn. The beautiful fact was the child tested negative for the virus, which made the joy all that much better. 12-year-old pregnant South African girl. And then we're going to stop right here. At what age do you think it's optimal to have a kid? Or should we rephrase it and say, at what point do you have kids? This argument is quite tricky because an answer can negate the other and put us in a dicey situation. But then, no matter the answer given, we wouldn't be able to fit this young girl into the frame because it's just baffling. Apparently, this 12-year-old girl from South Africa took to social media to flaunt one of the most questionable things as she posted that she was pregnant. And, and proud. Proud. Does she, does she even like, understand she, what she's trying she to say? She's saying she doesn't know what it means to be pregnant and proud, but what it actually means, especially since she is just a kid. Anyway, she doesn't seem phased as she posted a picture of her and her 14-year-old boyfriend being all lovey-dovey. Where are the parents? How would they feel seeing their baby wanting to be a mother? If, if I see my kid on doing this, bro, I'll be disappointed. I'll be disappointed. 
and piss like I'll be so pissed off to piss off. I I don't even have no word to say to my kid. I don't even have a word to like there's some there'll be so much so much anger to me that it will make me just just go to jail. Like I'll I'll walk to um walk to um uh cop um cop tell cop to arrest me and send me to jail. But then we guess there's nothing they can do about the whole situation. Christiane Ray. While Christiane was growing up, she must have proudly figured out that she was not like other kids. Her smallish stature, which didn't grow and allowed her to remain a kid, must have been troubling for her. However, growing up and finding love must have been a different ball game. Like, is actually a true disease for certain people. Like, certain people who who who's real sure like four something or three something they don't go that much it is actually a real cuisine look up and she would want to build a family with this person that's what she did when she got pregnant with her partners and then the alarm bell started ringing apparently the doctor said that she wasn't fit to carry a baby due to her frame and that the whole thing could kill her but then she wasn't going to let something that little hold her back from getting her bundle of joy she just stuck to taking care of herself, and the result was phenomenal, as she shocked the medical world by giving birth to a live baby and also being alive to take care of her. Now she just silenced the critics, and she gets to spend the rest of her life cherishing the most impossible gift of all, Halima Kisei. If you think the woman who gave birth to five was quite wild, then you need to know that there's someone out there who gave birth to nine. Another one. Another one. Another one, another one, another one, and another one. The mother, Halima from Mali, served the birth, and in a rare case for this number of kids, none of them passed. Now, me say, me say, when these kids started having more than four kids, it made me uh, expect who the father. It's like, now it makes me think the, think the father is not the only one. I mean, think you probably got by um, other guys or something like that. That would make me seem like a white guy didn't uh, get, got you pregnant. Like, ain't no way one guy got you pregnant. Away. For this type of case, the government needs to be involved because it's a once in a lifetime incident. So yeah. they really turned up for her by flying her to yeah, the capital a, uh, so that she lifetime. could get the best medical Boy. care. But then, for this number of children, we all Boy, knew that they uh, wouldn't be as big as a single pregnant, baby, pregnant, and that and was evident as the kids weighed around one kilogram. With this, she's broken the record for the number of living kids born at once, which eight. was formerly God, eight. Nine. What well, a proud mom right. she would be. If she's a proud mom, then the next mom definitely has a proud kid, because not just anyone would do this. Ada Keating. When we were kids, we were mostly reliant on our parents, and our uh -huh. mother in particular, and this is because they made life easier for us. As we grow, we tend to drift away from them because we want autonomy. But still, they're there with us, waiting in the corner for when they can be helpful to save us once again. Most times that never happens, but one Ada Keating got lucky enough to be there for her son even in her old age. At the age of 98, she moved in with her son to be able to properly take care of him, and this has been one of the sweetest pieces of news ever. Oh wait, it's not like she moved into his home, but more like a retirement home for the elderly. Her son, who's 80, was at a point where he couldn't take care of himself anymore and had to be in a nursing home. But the loving mother could hmm, hold on, hold on. How does like unexpected? It's not unexpected moment. It's a swing. Like you give him a pull off that. Like we got you gotta clap up for that. But that has to take guts. Like, it has to take guts for, for a mother at her old age to take care of her son at his old age. Like, like I, I, I'm I, proud. I'm proud of, of how she come in, in her life. Couldn't do without him. So she moved so she could be close to him and perform her motherly role. One can imagine the amount of discussion that would have gone into the whole process, but then it's quite sweet and we applaud the internet. Adriana Eliscu. We've talked about women deciding to have kids at an older age, and this isn't all bad if you think about it, 
For some of them, they've always wanted to have a kid, while others just do it because it's quite fun for them. However, for Adriana, the joy of being a mother supersedes the risk involved in it. So she decided to take on the challenge. At the age of 66, she got her first kid and strives to take care of her with everything she's got. But this didn't sit well with people who felt it was a selfish decision. For instance, she's old enough to be this kid's great-grandmother, but what? she still doesn't care. So what happens to the kid when she passes? Well, they believe she's safe. She has her godfather and the doctor who perform the IVF as people who can be there for her. But still, is this the right decision to make? Would the child get to spend enough time with her mother? mother?